Hello guys, welcome back. Um, I spent more time with Hermes today. Yes, this is still the Loki channel. Loki was like, you're spending time with him. Um, I got up super early and didn't know why, and I said, I guess I'll go shopping. Loki's like, mm-hmm, guess who you're taking? And I was like, oh, that's great. Um, I love Hermes. I do, but I was like, because I knew the at least one healthy shopping trip was coming up. Because remember, this is a Lord Athletics boxing running gymnasium looking like a Greek god. I was like, okay, okay, maybe we'll do one healthy shopping trip. Because he'd been with me before and he didn't say anything about my typical shopping habits. He was just, he was really, he does have a massive sweet tooth. So, you know, he's not always Mr. Hmm, we should get this cream of water soup this sounds delightful zero calories he's not like that um but we did we picked out ham and we picked out like these little mini steaks and like hamburgers and like you know decent food that still pretty much resembles the animal or whatever source came from cheese stuff like that we ended up spending 40 bucks and I'm checking out, and I tell the manager, well, I got all this because I figure if I came up on Saturday, I couldn't get anything. She's, ah, ah, ah. And she's doing everything she can to invite me. And I'm feeling really awkward because the Lord of Hospitality is standing with me, and I can't just say no. So she's, like, mentioning they're going to have a gift bag and ribbon-cutting ceremony and the $50 gift. Not $50 gift card. Oh, God. Um, $10 gift card and the first 500 people. Yeah, it's 500, not 100. Get um, the the bag in the tumbler. But only if they make a purchase. They were smart on that. And I'm conflicted. As we're going home, we're, I'm trying to have this discussion. I'm like, can I turn down our hospitality? Is it better for me to take this as a gift from the gods or is it better for me to let someone who needs it more someone who doesn't have ten dollars for food say go take it i think about these things i drive my gods crazy and i don't do it to be a noble good person i just these thoughts pop up into my head i was like you know i've been on really tough times is it better for me to just say hey let someone else have 10 bucks so we really had no clear answer and since it was so super early, came home, put the groceries away, went up, had a, you know, had sleep. No dream, no God came down in a flying chariot and told me what to do. I get up and I start playing at this game because I went on Facebook and a developer answered me. And this developer's a sweetheart, but he's talking to the stupidest person on the planet when it comes to his game. Because apparently his three beta testers made it through really good. I'm asking him questions every five minutes because the old lady just can't figure this thing out. I thought it was a casual game. It turned out to be action-adventure. It's puzzles, and I suck at puzzles. If you put me in a room with a basic puzzle and I couldn't get out until I solved the puzzle, I would die of starvation in that room. So, it was not meant for me, and I keep trying to tell him that, and he's like, no, this is so easy. It's so totally easy. It's like, yeah, to you, your brain works that way. But Hermes is kind of mad at me because I tried it for like an hour today and I was just having really bad luck. I got one more achievement and you need like eight to open this one area. And I was like, I was just too tired to go in and play it all to get to the spot where I could try for the other achievement. He's like, why are you doing yourself this to yourself? Why are you pushing yourself? Because I said, the smart my brain has to kick in sometime. You have to bless me and puzzles have to suddenly become easy. And he he got mad and he says, you know, it has nothing to do with you being smart. It has to do with you being provided with direction. And there's there's no direction. I don't want Pat the Bunny, but I want some vague direction that says, hey, guess what burns well? And not have like 20 sources of fuel and have to figure out which one it is. It, it, it's that kind of game. It's like, I'm not that kind of smart. And he, he was mad. He was like, there's just not enough direction for you. That's all. It has nothing to do with you being dumb if they point you in a general direction because there are parts that are super clear. There's a mini quest that was super clear. Got it right away. But the rest of the game's a mystery. So it was kind of mad that I was beating myself up like this. And 
we let that go. And I went back into the um, app we got where we were committing total anarchy. And I was playing it alone. And because he felt angry, okay. And as the day went on, I could feel this angrier and darker presence from him. And I could feel a storm rolling in. And I'm like, he's really mad. And I went over to Loki. And Loki's like, this isn't just angry. This is a challenge. This is to see what you'll do. And I'm thinking, well, I can't get a refund. I've already played this game for six, seven hours. Um, I was like, okay, we can at least like dump the game for a while. But it wasn't that. It was he was challenging me me to see if I was going to treat him more seriously. Um, before he claimed who he was and um, you know, did some other stuff, we could have a really casual relationship. But now it has to be more. Formal. That's just at least the way it's working out for us. Some people didn't want. It. And so I lit a candle for because he was like off the charts angry with me. I lit a candle for him. I, I gave him libation of water and um, I lit some incense. And I was like, I know you're terribly angry with me, but it's Wednesday. I'm going to give you worship no matter how angry you are. I said, I'm sorry. I don't know why I keep making you this angry. But I went and I did research for like an hour. And... Loki's like, that's it. He's he's challenging you, because Loki was helping me with the research. Thank the gods Loki was with me. And um, Loki's like, yeah, he wants to see. Are you, are you committed enough to at least pick up a book? And the funny thing had been, I'd never gotten an answer on whether or not I should go up on Saturday. Uh, I planned about, say, 20, spend 20 bucks, you know, 10 from the card and 10 from me, so... It would be thanking her for her hospitality. Because I thought, I'm not just going to go up there and raid the place like a pirate. And it it came to me that, you know, since Loki was helping, he would like me to at least pick up a book. And we found the book. And it was on Kindle, naturally, which I don't have. And there were paperback copies, but they started at 18-something or 19-something. And I was like... That's what I was planning on spending Saturday. And I'm looking at Loki and Loki's looking at me. And it's just like the only book on Hermes that, you know, talks about him as a living god. That isn't, you know, really simple written for children. And I thought, at least the only one I've come across. And we're looking at each other because this book started at 18. It went up to over $300, depending on who you bought it from. I said, I think it's a gift from the gods, and I'm finding it around that price. I said, sacrifice sometimes sucks and really hurts, because she mentioned a mystery goodie bag, and you know that lights all my bells as a Gemini. There's a mystery in a bag that I can't have unless I show up, and I'm like, hey, what it? And um, so I said, okay, I'll make that sacrifice. And it, like, physically hurt to make that sacrifice. It did. I was like, oh, yeah. But I wanted him to know he's loved, and I wanted him to know I'm s serious enough to, yes, I'm going to read a book on him, because I really don't have much research material on the Greek gods, except for the scary book of god descriptions that all the gods universally hate. They just cannot stand this book. Um, it's a encyclopedia of myths, but the person manages to show every god but the gods they like in the worst possible light. So the gods hate this. I just use this desk reference. Um, and so I got that and then it felt like everything cleared up. So we put on like a bunch of stuff for Hermes and I cooked some pork because you know that's his thing and you know I I made some bread to go with it and we were playing stuff for him and he was well pleased. And you know I felt some other presences and I've got the sense of you did the right thing and um I got the sense of you are not going Saturday because someone else had advised me that you know don't go up if that's his will you have to learn to you know listen because it's not Loki Loki will tell me to listen and if I don't listen he's like fine go do it but if you get hurt don't come back and cry to me um with him, it would be more, he would take it as a personal affront, because that's just the way Hermes is with me. Some people would be like, yeah, go ahead, do it, even though I told you not to, see what happens. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, 
I will be staying home Saturday. As much as my curiosity is driving me crazy and I'm like Pandora with her little box now. Whatever could be in here. I need to see it. I need to. I need. <laughs> but I won't. I won't. I don't want to offend him. I don't want to offend the gods. And one of the things I actually thought at, because my mind never stops. I think you guys have noticed is, you know... There are people that need a $10 gift card. I mean, they need it to put food on the table because they take um, EBT up there. And I'm like, those people could really use the 10 bucks. And I had even looked up Dollar General openings. And they show the people that were lined up for the opening. And those were like, same exact kind of people that went, you know, at the time. So I had to go to a food bank. Those were the people you would meet there. And I'm like, man, I don't need it that bad. So we're we're doing it for the greater good. It'll be a charity thing to do in, you know, his name. Because it doesn't all have to be about me. If the gods want to give me $10 worth of groceries, they'll find a way. And it won't be taking it from someone else. So I'm pretty good. And we'll get the book on Hermes. And I'm actually excited because the person talks about him as a living god, not as a thought form. I just want to strangle those people. I mean, they're so lovely. <laughs> and <laughs> you guys know I'm strong-minded. Um, I was listening to some nonsense because you know how it auto-plays. I was listening to some nonsense while I was cooking in this lazy-ass person. Didn't want to do any of the work that's involved in witchcraft and was... Like saying, you don't need this, and you don't need that. I'm like, well, if you won't get off your ass and do the work, honey, that's why you don't have any of these abilities. It's not that you don't need it. You won't do the damn work. It's not just handed to you. This isn't Hollywood. And look, he's like, yeah. I swear, it, like when I came into witchcraft decades ago, you worked your ass off. People are coming into witchcraft today, not everyone, but some people are coming into witchcraft today and they're like entitled little shits and they think you're just going to get handed to them. Now, they've always existed. In my time, they did too, but they washed out really quickly. They didn't go start a YouTube channel and go bit, bit, bit at people. <laughs> so I was just really pissed off because I can't stand lazy. You have to work your ass off for it. If you think about most organized religions, you go from when you're a baby to when you're usually an adult, like around 18 or something, and you sit your ass in a pew every week, why do you think witchcraft is going to be any easier? Because you saw Charmed a bunch of times, so now you know everything. <laughs> cranky and old. I get into the crone energy already. I've always been a cranky old crone, though. But yeah, guys, um, you know, you know I love all of you. I am generally don't have a problem with people, but lazy, yeah, because since I can tend to be lazy as well, I'll get on your ass for it. So, I hope you guys like what you see, and like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.